Well, two separate emergency power bills already vetoed by the governor were set to get a last chance shot at survival this week with lawmakers. They were supposed to be veto proof, we were told. Remember that? Well, Senate Bill 1136 wasn't exactly. The override in the Senate failed by one vote. Today, the House side was able to do what senators could not and override Governor Little's veto of House Bill 135. It's supposed to slide some of the executive branch's ability to make decisions during a declared state of emergency back to the legislative leg of government. A lot of lawmakers believe the governor had too much power during the pandemic this past year, and those quick and widespread decisions made by the governor, well, they believe they should have at least had a say in them, like how to spend emergency funds from the federal government. Here's how some of today's two hour debate sounded. Not only that, but you've heard some emotional testimony and, and and right now there is a lot of emotion because of the situation that that presented itself with this pandemic. Making decisions based on emotion is never good. Reasoned decisions are what we should always be making. The powers that we're debating are inherently legislative powers. They are lawmaking powers. They are money spending powers. There is no traditional executive branch power that we are limiting in any way through this legislation. Now, I am asking that we, as this body, have some fortitude, and I'm asking that we have some backbone. Well, the override had some backbone, passing 48 to 19, three more votes than they needed for that coveted two-thirds majority. It will now head over to the Senate side, where it will also need a two-thirds majority to become law. But based on what happened earlier this week, that may not exactly be a guarantee.